In this course, we will show you how to insert a Guardian Sensor 3. Do not insert your sensor until you have been instructed to do so by your healthcare provider. When you are ready, gather the following supplies. A Guardian Sensor 3, the one press serter, oval tape, a transmitter that has been fully charged, an alcohol wipe, skin tack wipes, any other optional off-the-shelf adhesive you plan to use, and a sharps container. Wash your hands before you begin. Before you insert a new sensor, you will need to remove your old sensor. First, remove any optional adhesive you may have applied over the transmitter and sensor. Next, remove the oval tape that is covering the transmitter. Peel the adhesive tab off the transmitter. Disconnect the transmitter by pinching the flexible arms of the sensor with one hand and pulling the transmitter away with the other. Now peel off the oval tape that is covering the sensor. Loosen the sensor adhesive by lifting up the adhesive tab. Remove the sensor from your body. Discard the sensor in a sharps container. Be sure to follow the instructions in the user guide on how to properly clean the transmitter. Then place the transmitter back in the charger so it can be recharged. Next, you'll need to choose a site to insert the sensor. For ages 7 to 13, the shaded areas on the abdomen and buttocks are recommended for insertion. For ages 14 and above, the shaded areas on the abdomen and the back of the upper arms are recommended for insertion. Assistance may be needed for sensor insertion into the back of the upper arm. When choosing your site, be sure it is at least 2 inches away from your belly button. For best glucose sensor performance, be sure to avoid sites where your clothing may rub or constrict, for example, your belt line. You should also avoid sites where your body naturally bends, or where there is a great deal of motion, and sites that are scarred or have hardened tissue or stretch marks. Be sure to rotate your sensor sites in order to avoid tissue damage that could occur from overuse. Clean the insertion site with alcohol and let the skin dry before inserting the sensor. Do not use any other product or tape on the site before inserting the sensor. Let's take a closer look at the Guardian Sensor 3. The sensor is attached to the top of the plastic pedestal that keeps the sensor in place while loading the serter. The plastic pedestal has two arms on either side. On the top of the sensor is the needle housing which holds the needle in place. The needle is removed after insertion. Now let's take a look at the serter. The serter has a thumbprint marking on one side, where you will hold the serter, while loading the sensor. On either side of the serter are two large green buttons. To insert the sensor into your body, you will place your thumb and forefinger on the small bumps on these buttons and press once. Open the Guardian Sensor 3 package. Remove the sensor by holding the plastic pedestal. Do not hold it by the sensor or needle housing as this could damage the sensor. Place the sensor with its pedestal on a clean, flat surface, such as a table. Make sure the adhesive tab is tucked under the sensor connector and snaps. Hold the serter so your thumb is on the thumbprint. Be sure your fingers are not touching the green buttons on either side of the serter. Carefully, push the serter down onto the sensor and pedestal until the base of the serter sits flat on the table and you hear a click. Do not push the serter too hard onto the sensor, as this might cause the sensor to load improperly. To detach the serter from the pedestal, be sure your thumb is still placed on the thumbprint and you are not touching the buttons. Place two fingers on the pedestal arms, holding it in place, and slowly pull the serter straight up. Do not detach the pedestal in midair. Doing so might damage the sensor. After the pedestal is detached, the sensor remains inside the serter. This step also removes the adhesive liner from the sensor. The side arrow on the serter will indicate where the needle is located. Place the base of the serter flat against the site that you prepared. To insert the sensor, be sure you are holding the serter securely against your skin without pushing it in too deeply. Press and release the small bump on both green buttons at the same time to automatically insert the sensor. It is important you hold the serter securely against your body while you do this step, as the serter may spring back after pressing the buttons, resulting in improper insertion of the sensor. Do not pull the serter away from your skin yet. Continue to hold the serter against your skin to allow time for the adhesive to stick. Then, slowly pull the serter away from your skin, making sure you do not press the buttons while doing so. Now you'll need to remove the insertion needle. If someone else is performing this step for you, please refer to the user guide for instructions. 
With one hand, gently hold the sensor by placing one finger on the front of the sensor and one finger on the sensor connector to ensure your glucose sensor stays in place. Be sure you do not hold or pinch the sides of the sensor. With the other hand, hold the needle housing at the tip and slowly pull straight out, away from the sensor. The needle automatically retracts inside the plastic needle housing. Discard the entire piece into a sharps container. If bleeding occurs at your insertion site, apply steady pressure using sterile gauze or a clean cloth for up to three minutes. Please consult the user guide for what to do if bleeding does not stop. Now that your sensor is inserted, you may use an optional liquid adhesive such as skin tack to help keep it in place. To apply the adhesive, open the packet and remove the skin tack wipe. With one hand, gently lift the adhesive pad while keeping your fingers on the sensor base to prevent it from pulling out. With the other hand, wipe the skin beneath the adhesive pad. Next, wipe the area around the sensor including the adhesive pad and wait for the liquid to become dry and sticky. Carefully remove the liner that is located underneath the curved adhesive pad. Press the adhesive pad against the skin. Now flip the adhesive tab so it lies flat against the skin, but do not remove the adhesive liner from the tab just yet. Next, you need to apply the oval tape. It is important to properly secure the sensor against your skin. The first step is to remove the paper backing marked with the number 1. Do not remove the two smaller tabs on the sides of the tape just yet. Hold the oval tape by the covered ends. Then, apply the wide part of the tape so it covers both the round side of the sensor and the skin securely. Make sure the tape is covering both the skin and the sensor. Then apply the remaining part of the tape onto the adhesive pad without blocking the sensor connector. Smooth down the tape that was placed on the skin. Then, remove the paper tabs marked with the number 2 from the sides of the tape. Smooth the tape against the skin. To connect the transmitter to your sensor, remove your transmitter from the charger and watch for the green light to flash. With one hand, hold the sensor in place. Hold the transmitter with your other hand and push it onto the sensor. It will click when it is connected. The green light on the transmitter will start flashing within a few seconds. It will flash for a few seconds and then turn off. If necessary, use a mirror to see the green light. If the light on the transmitter does not flash, Disconnect the transmitter from the sensor and place it back on the charger until it is fully charged. Reconnect the transmitter to the sensor. Once the transmitter is connected, remove the adhesive liner from the adhesive tab. Fold the adhesive tab over and stick it on the transmitter. Be careful not to pull the adhesive tab too tightly. Now you need to apply a second piece of oval tape to the transmitter. Remove the paper backing marked with the number 1. Rotate the tape and place it over the transmitter. The wide part of the tape should cover both your skin and the back of the transmitter. Smooth down the tape and remove the paper tabs marked with the number 2 from the sides of the tape. Smooth the sides of the tape. Now that the sensor has been inserted and the transmitter has been connected, the pump and transmitter will begin to communicate. When the sensor is ready to be started, your pump will show the sensor connected screen. Typically, this screen will display in less than a minute, but in some cases may take up to 10 minutes. Once the screen appears, select Start New Sensor. The pump will display the Sensor Warm-Up Started message. Press the down arrow, then Select to clear the screen. Your pump will go back to the home screen and will show Warm-Up until the sensor is ready for the first calibration. Note, if 15 minutes have passed and the warm-up bar does not appear, or it looks like it is not progressing, look in the quick status screen. If you see the time of next cal listed, the sensor is in warm up. Your pump will notify you with a calibrate now alert when it is ready for its first calibration. As you wear your sensor, be sure to regularly check your site. If additional tape is needed to secure the sensor and transmitter, you can apply off the shelf tape. 